We swept our three college football plays on yesterday's edition of the Power Five. Had the under in both Conference USA matchups, as well as FIU plus the points over Sam Houston. What a fine game that was. Uh, now, the NBA and Champions League weren't so hot, but still 4-3 and three overall with the plays I gave out over the two editions of the Power Five that had plays for Tuesday. It's now a 160, 135, and 10 overall run with free plays here on the show. A reminder that if you're looking for Champions League winners today in soccer, you can still check out Monday's show. That was an all-Champions League edition. I gave out three plays for Tuesday, uh, two for today. So there's still the two out there. Uh, for this show today here on Wednesday, I'm going to be focusing on college football and the NBA. Again, as a reminder, at any time, you can comment down below with your thoughts on my selections. Smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on these. All right, here we go. Number one, Kennesaw State plus 26. You can get that number at DraftKings versus Liberty. Yes, I'm well aware. Kennesaw State is probably the worst team in the country. Owls are one of only two FBS teams still without a win this season. Kent State being the other. If Kennesaw State's not the worst team in the country, then Kent State is. Meanwhile... Liberty, uh, other end of the spectrum, they're one of 10 teams that are still undefeated in the country. But the Flames, they're the only one of those 10 not to be featured in the top 25 poll. And there's a reason for that. They've yet to win a game by more than 18 points this season. That includes a 7-point OT win over FIU. We saw how lousy FIU was last night. A 6-point win over New Mexico State as well. Oh, by the way, this is insane. Liberty has played just one game in the last 32 days. That was 15 days ago against FIU. I think that the Flames come out rusty tonight. More on that in just a second. One and four ATS team laying nearly four touchdowns on the road is a big no thank you from me. Hold your nose. Hold it. Take the points with Kennesaw State. Five of the Owls' six losses have been decided by 21 points or less. We'll take that here. All right, I also like the first half under in this Liberty-Kennesaw State game. That number, 24 and a half, uh, almost uh, the same as the spread, kind of in that same neighborhood. While uh, we're taking the points with Kennesaw State, obviously, in this game, it would be a dereliction of duty, dare I say, if I fail to mention the Owls are dead last in the country, averaging just 13 points and one touchdown per game. Liberty has probably the best defense in Conference USA, but look, the, the reason I have Kennesaw State covering the number here isn't because I'm anticipating some kind of shootout. Remember, again, what I just said, Liberty's played just once in the last 32 days. Rusty. That's what we expect. Low scoring first half. You combine that with the impotence of the Kennesaw State offense, we should have ourselves a first half under. Last night, we certainly saw how these Conference USA offenses can struggle, including just the second scoreless first half of this college football season. Uh, which was produced by Sam Houston at FIU. Let's go to the NBA now. First big card of the season. I've got a player prop for you tonight and a big favorite coming up in just a minute. Uh, Bam Adebayo over 0.5 three-pointers made. That's our prop. So yes, I think Bam makes at least one from downtown tonight uh, against Orlando. The Miami forward has publicly come out and said he's looking to make the three a bigger part of his repertoire this season. And let's look at what he did at the end of last season, shall we? In the final 17 games, Adebayo went 14 of 28, that's 50%, from behind the arc. He made at least one three in 11 of those 17 games. Then in the preseason, he was 5 for 13 in limited action. Like the volume, the attempts are going to be there tonight. So look for Adebayo to make at least one three, that's minus 120 at DraftKings. Uh, number four, if you're willing to lay some juice... Let's play the Suns on the money line at the Clippers. Yes, I know this is now minus 200. That is really juicy. If you don't want to take it, I'm not forcing you. It's not North Korea here. It's just the Power Five. Uh, everyone seems to be, bet be betting the Suns here. I'd rather just take them to get the straight-up win rather than lay five and a half at this point. If you go back to yesterday's edition of the Power Five, I talked about how I like the Suns to go over their season win total of 47 and a half. I think they win the Pacific Division, probably a top two seed in the Western Conference uh, alongside Oklahoma City. Clippers, on the other hand, they figure to regress quite a bit after last season's 51 win campaign. No Paul George. Kawhi Leonard is injured. Imagine that. So look for the Clips to lose tonight in their first game at their new arena. Like I said on yesterday's show, Suns are going to be taking a lot more threes under Mike Budenholzer. Kevin Durant's probably going off tonight for a big game. So, uh, Suns are going to win. 
I think uh, that is a pretty easy and safe call for Wednesday. All right, let's round out the Power Five by going back to college football. A look ahead here for Saturday. I'm taking Akron plus three versus Eastern Michigan. A little Maction. No one knows the Mac quite like me. I am, after all, one of the seven or eight most famous Mac grads in Mac history. I, I think that's fair to say. Uh, what you need to know for this game is that Akron is both at home and coming off a bye, while Eastern Michigan has had some phony wins this season. Plus nine turnover differential for the Eagles, their last three victories. Furthermore, they were outgained on a per-play basis by both Kent State and Central Michigan. This past Saturday, EMU was down 18 in the fourth quarter versus Central Michigan at home, yet they come roaring back to win by a score of 38-34. That despite the fact Central Michigan's two quarterbacks combined to complete just five passes for 98 yards in the game. Uh, Akron, they've played EMU tough each of the last two years, pushing as three and six-point underdogs. This time, though, they get the cash and likely the outright upset. Sharp money has already showed up on the zips. This number open plus five and a half. All right, let's do a quick recap of today's Power Five. Number one, Kennesaw State plus 26 versus Liberty. Number two, I like the first half under, 24 and a half in that Liberty-Kennesaw State game as well. Uh, moving to the NBA, play number three, Bam Adebayo, over 0.5 three-pointers made. Number four, Phoenix Suns money line at the Clippers. And number five, Akron plus three versus Eastern Michigan. You may want to wait to see if it goes back to three and a half. I don't think it will, though. Again, you can comment down below with your thoughts, questions, concerns, anything you want to say about today's selections. Let me know what you're betting on Wednesday as well. Always interested to see that. And a reminder, if you were unaware, today is Fill Your Cart Wednesday over at wagertalk.com. That means you can take 20% off the price of as many pick packages as you would like. Single game, one day all access, three day all access, seven day all access, 30 day all access, 90 day all access, or even a full year subscription. You can save 20% on as many daily and all-access passes as you can fit in your cart. That is today only. So take advantage. Head on over to wt.buzz slash bp in case you missed a $5 special I had yesterday. And thank you to everyone who joined. Um, you're going to be able to uh, save 20% today on Saturday's college football all-access. I'll be reposting that 4% best bet that was available for $5 and also just giving you access to every play I'm going to have for Saturday. If you buy the package today, anything I add for Saturday will be added. Uh, you can save 20% on that. Normal cost is $29. Uh, you can, not to mention, save 20% again on any long-term subscription I have available as well. As a reminder, I am number one this season in college football, up 35.5 units thanks to a white-hot 12-2 and two run going back to the end of September. Just an FYI, that Saturday All Access Pass, it's going to be available later in the morning. Uh, I've got to do the morning wager with Mark Zinno first. So uh, on that note, that's going to do it for the Wednesday edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it or you just want to show the sport. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wedge Talk YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, let's catch some tickets.